it's great to have the fans out to our game, but it's even better that kids with disabilities can participate in the wonderful game of ours. He loves the game, he loves everything about it. He, um, he's playing of the game, he's watching the game, um, meeting the players, every, every aspect of, a ga of the game he just absolutely loves. This is close to my heart. I have a family member who, is, um, who has a disability and I just see the enjoyment that she gets from being involved in the sport that I play. It's turned my son Joshua's life around completely. Um, and it's from help from like school teachers, schoolmates, the club itself. I love running with the ball. I love ta I love tackling and I love scoring. Well, fortunate this year we had a program um, which was external to the club. It was a multi-sport program that we um, had centered down in the Bayswater community in which we identified a local, local child there that was interested in joining a club. Since I had some connections with the Waverley Panthers, um, we thought we might be able to just link him straight into the club there. He knows so much about the, the game. Um, the teachers have picked it up, his sports teachers picked up how much, how positive he is with the game, how much knowledge he's got about the game. Um, and they sort of prompted him a little bit to get involved with the local football club. It went from there and they offered him if, if he wants to be sort of involved a little bit further, going to the safety league side of it, where he's done his courses and so he's now a safety league official. I love the game because um, cause all my friends and yeah, just show the support. It's really important to include people with disability because they are quite isolated. Sport gives them that opportunity. I think once you get to know someone who has a disability, that you'll see a different, you know, a different perspective on that. We see in other teams, the teams that we play against, we see um, there was one situation there where we'd played this first team and by the first game they'd identified that Isaac was different, or well, partly different from the, from the rest of them and the team that we played had so much admiration for him. The second time we played him, they lined up at a picket fence like on the other side there on the oval and they all stuck, the coach said, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, you know. They stuck their hand out and they just high-fiving him on the way through and this is before the game started. It touches the teams that he plays and he touches the parents as well. I have a lot of fun training. For those getting involved with rugby league, there are many benefits, the friendships they form, the relationships with the community, um, being able to participate in a game that they love in rugby league and just the overall fun that they get from the game. The obvious one is what the health benefits that are, that are associated with sport. Um, and footy, yeah, there's a, it's a fairly, fairly fit game. So, so basically it's great there within the air, the physical components. His confidence is sky high. Um, he gets quite embarrassed sometimes at the, at the positive feedback that he gets and the positive reaction of people to him. It's given him, pretty much given him a future that he think he might take, you know, down the path as in um, senior officials, like getting, you know, really involved in the senior official side of things. They actually get out and be part of a team. So, you know, those, those things that people who have disability in the community, what happens is they do get isolated. So rugby league gives them that opportunity. Yeah, I like learning all these different skills. Australian Rugby League is working with some strategies or has some strategies in place to help clubs and coaches and officiating staff to work with people with disabilities in the game of Rugby League. The game's already modified in a, um, below him it's a half field and with him the fields are brought in 10 metres either side and um, so there's already modifications in place.
other clubs and coaches and referees um, to become a little bit more open-minded about what can happen. From a coach's perspective, I haven't found a, a great deal of um, indifference in the style of that I'd coach if I, if I didn't have a disabled child in the, in the team. You're always going to have kids with high fitness levels, you're always going to have kids with lower fitness levels. So to um, and all the drills and so on that you do uh, just accordingly. Probably the best advice I could probably say is probably working with um, people outside of the club, like um, within the community. So there might be disability agencies out there, uh, people like um, within my position, such as like Access All Abilities or people that do sport and recreation for people with a disability that are looking for club support and looking to make those links. Really look into it and give it a go. I guarantee them that the first time they do this won't be the last. ARL development encourages local clubs to find their local disability organisation such as RecLink and form community relationships with them. To give these kids the drive, to get that drive, they have to be given a chance and they have to be given a chance through probably one of the main sports or the best sport that we all grew up with which is rugby league. With a child with a passion and what the game has, has given him in the way of confidence and the rest of it, as long, um, he'll have involvement for the rest of his life that's in some capacity, whether it be coaching, administration, um, simply just wherever the game needs him he'll be. Clubs that are looking to get involved can contact Australian Rugby League Development for resources, information and advice.